Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to Harvest Moon, The Winds of Anthos. A game that has recently been released, about a week or so ago. And I had a lot of comments asking if I'm going to be playing this at launch. My initial answer was yes. But unfortunately, this game had a very, very rocky launch. Wow, Natsume did not do a great job with that. I'm sure a lot of you know, but the Steam version was delayed. It did not come out on September 26th. And the physical version of this game, which, you know, I'm a physical Switch collector, the physical version of this game did not release on the 26th as well. It was delayed everywhere, nationwide. GameStop didn't have it in stock. Amazon didn't have it in stock. Uh, Target, Best Buy, all the major retailers did not have this game. It's not, hasn't been until recently where they're finally stocking up on them. So I don't know what happened there. Really don't know, but we're going to play this game. So I am looking forward to the game now that I finally managed to get my hands on the physical version of the game. Appearance, I'm going to choose boy. Uh, skin color, I'll go with that one. All right. And then it's gonna kind of just gonna pick what resembles me the most. Wait, can I not pick a hairstyle? It just says hair color, right? Hold on. I guess so. Okay, let's just keep it like that. Eye color. Uh, let's do. Oh wow. I mean, I guess dark brownish. That's the most dark brown. Okay. Birthday. I'll go ahead and do winter. Because my birthday is in December 20th in real life, I'll just go ahead and do winter the 20th. I feel like that equates to it pretty well. Enter a name. Why is why is Justin the default name? Okay. Alright. Shine oops. Shiny. That's the name I choose in pretty much every playthrough. Okay. Yeah, so I guess you cannot pick out your clothes and you cannot adjust your hairstyle. Interesting. Bonding with animals. If you take a care of animals, they will repay you in kind. These are just tips. It's a loading screen. And you can just smash B for the next tip. Pretty cool. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to this game. Definitely. I hope it's finally a good Harvest Moon game. I'm not assuming. I've actually done my best to avoid any kind of spoilers you know, on YouTube, on Twitter, or anything like that. I want to play this game pretty much mostly blind and just kind of see what happens. So. This could be either a great game, or a terrible game, or an okay game, and I have no idea. So you may know this, but since the split between Marvelous and Natsume, uh, the Natsume Harvest Moon game series has not really been all that good. The Lost Valley was terrible. Um, Seeds of Memories was not good either. Sky Tree Village was probably the worst Harvest Moon game ever, either that or the Lost Valley. Uh, what is it called? Light of Hope was a little bit better, and One World was also a little bit better. So those have been improvements over the Lost Valley and Skyter Village, but then again, it doesn't take much to improve over trash, so... I'm not gonna say One World and Light of Hope have been great games, because they haven't, but they've offered something, at least. Something decent, at best. So hopefully this one is an even bigger improvement. Alright, so there's a little bottle there with a, like a note in there, interesting. So this is all just setting up the game. It says Doc Jr. Shiny, hey Shiny, how long are you planning on sleeping? It's time to get up already. Oh, I'm sorry. Moving and talking. Use elastic to move your character. Press the A button when standing in front of someone to talk to them. Yeah, pretty basic controls, right? Okay. So I can examine the bed, but that's to sleep, I believe. Good morning, Shiny. Whew, I'm starting to worry you'd never wake up. Get ready already. We're late for the morning's farm work. Take a look outside. It's almost lunchtime, friend. Geez, you really overslept. We need to get the equipment to the farm before noon. Hey, wait a minute. All right. Well, we're just gonna go to these loading screens. Hopefully loading is not bad. It doesn't seem like it's bad, so that's pretty good. So visually, the game does look better than any other Natsume Harvest Moon game I've seen. They made improvements on that for sure, because some of them did not look great. But this looks pretty good, pretty decent. 
Hold on a second. You're not going to get far without the right tools. You really would lose your head if it wasn't attached to you, huh, Shiny? Here, I brought you the tools you need. You should be able to get up to speed in no time. First, we need to till the soil. Try tilling nine or so times. Nine or so times. How about the field you wanna? Okay, you can continuously till by holding down the A button as you move. Oh, okay. Let's let's see. Four. I don't know why I did it like that. I should have just done a square. I'm so I'm so stupid. Okay. There we go. I made a square. You're finished? Okay, let's tend to sow some seeds. Press the A button on a tilled field to sow, uh, sow seeds. If you have more than one kind of seed, you can use the left stick to select the ones you want. You can continuously sow by holding down the A button as you move. Okay. Okay, turnips. There we go, that's all mine. All right, that's the spirit. Finally, water the seeds you sowed. You can get water from that well over there. Press the A button in front of the well to fill your watering can. Press the A button on the seed of field to water it. And once again, you can continuously hold down the button to keep watering. Okay. Nice. Oops, I missed the first one, that's okay. There we go. Perfect. That's it for the fuels today. I'm going to head home and continue with my research. Hey, shiny dog, give me a hand, will ya? That voice was Mathis from the animal shop. We should check it out, shiny. What you need to do to advance the story is shown as a story request. The story request you are currently on is displayed in the upper left corner. The request destination is shown in the minimap in the lower right corner. Use it if you get lost. Use the right stick to move the camera. Press the left stick to move the camera behind your character. Press the right stick to move the camera to a, friend, a farming friendly view. Okay, you can do that. You can turn it. It turns incredibly slow. Can you adjust this? Let's see. Looks like you can, yes. I should probably max it out, right? Cancel. Uh, no, wait, hold on. How do I... Oh, you confirm. Got it. That's the fastest. It's still a little slow, but it's much better than before. Okay. I think everything's fine. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So, let me talk to you one more time. Got it. That's where I'm heading. Pretty cool. It's a nice little village here. Let me talk to you. What's going on? Oh, it's a catastrophe. One of my chickens has escaped in the barn. My niece have been acting up something something fierce lately, so I can't run after it myself. I don't know what I'm going to do. Sorry to bother you, but could you try to catch the chicken that escaped? No problem. After all, you're always such a great help to us. Thank you. That's a huge help. The chicken headed west. It couldn't have gone very far, so you should be able to find it, no problem. West. Okay. Well, let's head that way. Can I pick these up? No, right? I don't think I can forge with these things. What is this? Mushroom. Has delicious earthy taste. Widely used in a variety of dishes. Alright, so every time you get a new item, uh, the game will give you a prompt that, oh, hey, it's a new item. Oh, is this the chicken? Looks like it is. It's running away. Where are you going, chicken? So I guess I just gotta follow it. That's all I can do right now. Hey, wait! 
Man, that thing is running like crazy. It's outspeeding us. And my character's like, screw the chicken, I'm done. <laughs> Doc Jr. just running back there trying to capture it. Shane, what are you doing? The chicken's going off again. Hey, wait, I see like, oh my god, my protagonist sucks. My character sucks. Look, Dad, our chicken came back. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Judy, your clothes are covered in weeds. Were you looking in the grass? Yep, I thought the chicken might be hiding in the grass around here or behind a rock. I didn't think they'd run all the way down to the beach. No wonder I couldn't find them. It sounds like you had a good time running around with Shiny. I'm glad for that, at least. Thanks for bringing our chicken back, Shiny and Doc. Yes, thanks to both of you for help. Oh, I know. I'll give you this as a thank you. Night fertilizer. Oh, don't worry about it. You and Judy are always helping us out, and this was a piece of cake. <laughs> Is that right? Well, in any case, I'll be sure to bring you both some fresh milk and eggs the next time I have a chance. Well, I guess we're done here. By the way, what was that thing you picked up at the beach? Hmm, there's something weird about this bottle. There's something inside it. Let's open it. What's this? A key and a letter? The key's all rusted. I wonder what it opens. What does the letter say, Shiny? A letter from the Harvest Goddess. So what is she saying? She used up all her power protecting humanity during the eruption 10 years ago and has fallen into a deep sleep. So she wants us to save her? Of course I remember the eruption. I was really young. So I don't remember much, though. Don't they, don't they say that the huge wall at the entrance to the village appeared during that time? I also remember reading about the Harvest Brides that would protect both the village and the Harvest Goddess. But I thought that was just a fairy tale. Don't tell me that really happened. You want to leave the village to find out? So do I. There's nothing like new discoveries to inspire the mind to create new inventions. I want to see what's in the outside world, too. But there's a tiny issue of the giant wall at the entrance to the village. Well, I wouldn't be much of a genius if I gave up just like that. Shiny, let's head to the village entrance. We'll work out a way to leave the village somehow. Items you get will be stored in your bag. You can open your bag by pressing the X button. In your bag, you can see more information about items. Press the Y button to sort your items. Press the X button to move the selected item. Take the item you want to give as a gift from your bag and hold it. Press the A button in front of the person you want to give the item to. Give gifts and get to know different people. Okay. So that's your bag. And it says you can well, you can select it, eat slash hold, you can move it. Okay, and then you can sort with Y. I only have space for 10? That's nothing. Oh well it looks like it's different categories. Okay, at least okay, so I have more than 10. Never mind. These are like key items, okay. Alright, so I mean, there's not really much we can do right now. I feel like we have to keep advancing the story. So that's what I'm going to keep doing, unless I find, you know, something on the way. Then yeah, you know, I'll take it, of course. Hmm. So that's the wall, which means this place is actually pretty small, from what I can see. Can I add a Oh, that's a new one. It's a new type of mushroom. Alright, let's examine this here. Hmm, the only way out of the village is to break through this wall. It'd be impossible for a person to break through a big wall like this. We'll have to find another way through. Hmm. Shiny, did you say something? Hmm. 
I'm trying to study the wall, Shiny. Can you keep quiet for a sec? Hmm, someone keeps saying hmm. Who said that? <laughs> right? What is going on here? Well, that certainly was a surprise. It seems like there's something inside that wall. But I'm not scared. It's not like ghosts really exist after all. And actually, that surprise just gave me a good idea for how to break through that wall. Zim zam kabam. There's no one quite as clever as the genius doctor or I don't know why I said the full thing, Dr. Junior, Doc Junior. Still, I think I'm going to need your help to make this happen, Shiny. It's getting late, so I'll save the explanation for tomorrow. Once we're done with the farm work tomorrow, come to my lab and I'll explain what we need to do. I'll go to bed early to make sure I'm ready for tomorrow. Good night, friend. Sure, okay. Press the A button in front of your bed to sleep until the next day. When you sleep, your stamina will be restored. If you stay awake without sleeping, you will lose, or you will more easily lose stamina the next day. You can place items in storage to free up space in your bag. Upgrading your storage increases the maximum number of items that can be held there. How do you upgrade your storage? Press the A button in front of the dresser to change the appearance of your character. If you have any clothes, you can change into them from here. If you have furniture, you can change the interior of your house from here. Okay. You also have a fridge. Interesting. That's what storage management. Can't examine that right now, I can't. Okay, that's all regular storage. And this is the dresser. I only have regular clothes. Okay. Oh, and there's also home interior where you can change. I'm not gonna do it right now. I barely have anything, so it's fine. Let's go to sleep. Shiny, are you awake? Uh, yes, I am. What do you need? It's it's 6 a.m., dude. Who barges at somebody else's house at 6 a.m.? God damn. Yeah, morning. At least you got up on time today. Now, let's water the crops in your field. When we're done with that, we can head to the lab. When performing actions in the field or mine, you can perform them repeatedly by holding on the A button as you move. Yeah, no, you, you, the game literally already explained this to me three times with the tilling, the planting seeds, and the watering. And the game's like, okay, in case you missed out those three times, I'm gonna tell you a fourth time that you can do this. Hmm, the crops don't look too healthy today. Looks like they need fertilizer. Let's use the fertilizer mats that gave us yesterday on them. Fertilized crops and flowers grow better and they survive longer before they wilt. Try fertilizing the crops. Press the A button in the water field to use fertilizer on it. If you have more than one kind of fertilizer, you can use a left stick to select it when you want. You can continuously use fertilizer by holding on the A button as you move. Using fertilizer helps crops grow. Duh. I feel like this is the most ridiculously useless like, sentence. Some fertilizers have different effects. Try experimenting with them. Okay. Oops, I didn't do it on the other one. My bad. There we go. All done. That's all we can do today. Okay, now it's time to talk strategy. Haven't you had breakfast yet? Well, you'd, you'd best get something to eat before we start our super important meeting at the lab. Let's grab something from the restaurant. I'm gonna move for some nice warm soup. Okay, it's telling me to go there. Oh, I think it's warping us there. Good morning, everyone. Oh, welcome, you two. Thanks for coming. What can we get you? Today's menu includes, let's see, it looks like salad, 
baguettes and soup. Sounds good to me. I'll take them all. Sure thing. I'll be back in a moment with your order. Here you go. I'm sorry we don't have much to offer today. We used to have a much more varied menu, but lately... Well, everything you make is so delicious, I hadn't noticed that you reduced the menu. Thank you very much for the kind words. We used to be able to make so many more dishes when my husband was here. Dad was an incredible cook. But on that fateful day, he was gathering crops outside the village when the eruption happened. The entrance to the village was blocked by the giant wall, and it was trapped on the other side with no way to get back. But we're not worried about him. He always landed on his feet. I'm sure he's still cooking his delicious food somewhere to this very day. I sure love to eat his cooking again. And when I see him again, I'll give him some of my cooking too. I wonder if he'll like it. Thank you. I'll have to work hard on my cooking to make sure he does. I'm really proud of how today's soup came out. Come on, eat up while it's still warm. I'm so full. Now that we filled our bellies, Shiny, I think I might be up to this meeting in the lab. Come to my lab now. Alright, it's finally time to get to the lab. Okay, so basically in this town... Okay, this thing is destroyed. I don't know what that's all about. Um, can I pull up the map? Let's just let's go to docks. There must be a way, right? Hmm. I'm trying to press all the buttons, but I don't actually see anything. Not even minus does it. Whatever, I'll figure it out later. If there even is that option. It's very possible that there's nothing. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I should have just ran this way. Welcome. Now, about my plan to break through the giant wall. Yes, I would love to hear this. Is that some TNT? Surprised, are you? With this, we'll be able to break through my any wall. And that's the plan, at least. I call it the Wall Whacker. Huh? What do you mean it doesn't look like you can break through walls? Alright, listen up. This is a high-tech machine that can destroy a wall with minimal force by precisely targeting the fragile parts of the wall. But the Wall Whacker is still incomplete. To make it, I'm going to need the highest quality components that won't fall apart themselves. So, I need you, Shiny, to bring the best quality materials from the village mine. I thought you might say something like that. I need five stone and three iron ore. The mine where you can find stone and iron ore is to the north of the village. This is what you'll need to get the materials in the mine. You can find ore with these by smashing ore loads or digging in the floor in the mine. While you're out collecting the materials, I'll stay here and do what I can. Which means nothing. Talking to the person that requested the item will open the request delivery screen. On this screen, select the item to be given to that person. The reward may be higher if a higher quality item is given. Alright, so we got introduced to the mine within 20 minutes of the game. It's pretty cool. The request collect materials for the wall wagger has been added. Okay, so it said to go to the mine. So that would be somewhere this way. There's more mushrooms here. I don't know if I should take them. I mean, I guess I should.
Like, there could be some kind of use for them later, I just don't really know what at the moment. Lectonbury Mine. Here's some more. That's pretty much all I've seen, just mushrooms. Oh, these are ban- they look like bamboo shoots. Bamboo shoot! Bamboo has just begun to sprout from the ground, known for its crunchy texture. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. Let's go inside the mine. What the heck? Well, I can smash that. Well... Stone. Ordinary stone. It becomes material stone when you refine it. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. I have four stone. So I just need five, it said. But I will conserve my stamina for other stuff in here. Mines. When an ore load or stone is broken by hitting it with a hammer, ore and other materials can be obtained. Press the A button in front of this ladder to return to the surface. Iron ore, ore that can be refined to produce iron. So like, that's really all I need. Like, I have my stone. What does digging do? Okay, it also just gives you the same stuff, pretty much. The odds are pretty low, though, to get that stuff. Okay. Uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to... There we go. Yeah, because that's all I needed. I know I could keep going into mine, but I feel like the game might take me back in there very soon, so I'd, I'd rather just progress the quests right now, like progress the game to get introduced to a lot about the game. I feel like we're still in the tutorial part of the game, so I would prefer to just advance the game. Is there really no freaking button that makes you run faster? That's a little ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, I tried pressing every button and nothing actually worked, so... I guess there's nothing else. Welcome back. Do you have the materials? Ah, uh, yes I do. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see, okay. It says I have seven, okay, hand over, yes. Perfect, now I'll be able to complete my device. Just hold on a sec, Shining. It should be ready to go tomorrow, so come back here at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Here, let me give you this. Starting tomorrow, even if I'm not there to watch you, remember to get up early and do your farm work. Okay, can I do them right now? I want to plant those right now. The request go to dog slap tomorrow has been added. Yes, I know. Go to dog slap tomorrow. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we'll just go back to our place. Wait, where the heck is our place again? Those are just regular mushrooms, okay. Alright, well... Wait a minute, where's my farm? I'm actually very confused right now. It's mainly because I haven't really figured out... Oh, it's right here. Okay, this is the thing. Got it. So do all of these say spring? Let's see. 
seeds are going to a turnip. Wait, yeah, they all say, okay, the, the spring icon. Cabbage and celery. So that's, what, 15? Yeah. I have to make 15 squares. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So what's interesting is after all of this, I still don't... The game is saying that I have not used any stamina yet. Which, I don't know if I believe that. I feel like the game's trolling me. Like, after all that, how are you to say that I haven't used any stamina after all this farm work and, and then going into the mine and stuff? Hmm. Something seems a little fishy here. Like, it literally still shows full hearts. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh no, I held it. Oh, it's because I'm out of water, duh. So it gives you 30 squares. Alright, we did them all. I don't have any fertilizer, that's okay, I'll just keep them like that. But yeah, um, after all that, my stamina is still to the max. Maybe it's because it's, this is still a tutorial, so it's not depleting stamina yet, but I feel like later on it will. Don't forget to water your fields. Yes, I know. Why are you telling me that? Yeah, we got some massive watering to do here. Whoa! It's time to head over to docks. The freaking time just changed. Now it's 8 a.m. Pretty sure this is all still tutorial. See how the time's not changing? And it only changed after I water my my nine initial crops. is complete. This should take care of that big wall in no time. Shiny, let's head to the wall. Even if some horrible monster something comes out of that thing, it'll flee for its life from the genius of Do Junior's latest and greatest invention. Don't worry. Okay, I mean, if you say so. Setup is complete. Step back, Shiny. There's a chance that the wall will shatter into pieces the moment I turn it on. Okay, ready to go? Powering on. A big hammer. in there after all. Oh, morning. Thanks for waking me up. What are your names? Well, I'm Dog Junior and this is Shiny. Dog and Shiny, nice to meet you. I am Ver, okay, or Ver, the harvest part of this village, and I've been sleeping inside that wall for far too long. Right then, did you know that a great eruption occurred many years ago? When that happened, I turned into a wall in order to protect your village from destruction. After all, it's the duty of every harvest sprite to look after their village. But that transformation used up all my powers and I had no way to turn back to my true form. If you hadn't woken me up, I would have stayed inside that wall forever. 
Thank you so much for waking me up. Just hold on a second there. If that story is true, then why didn't the wall disappear after you transformed back into your, to your true form? Hmm, you know? I'm not really sure. Maybe it's because my powers haven't fully returned yet. Maybe it's because I've been asleep so long, but I'm still not feeling quite like myself. I can't really focus my strength. My body and soul have been restored, but my power seems to still be in that wall. Hmm, well, this is quite the conundrum. What to do? I got it. I think I'll get my mojo back if I eat something. I remember there used to be loads of yummy food in this village. There was a delicious meal I used to eat, but I can't remember its name. Ah, oh, it was so good. I'm sure even one dish of that, and I'd be back to full strength. Really? You'll make it for me? Thank you. I'll wait here until you're ready. I'll head back into the wall for now. If you need anything, just come back to the wall and call for me. What do you mean, go back into the wall? You're going to be stuck again. Did you not learn anything from these past 10 years? Hmm. I gotta say, when I invented that wall wagon device, I had no idea that this is what was going to happen. What are we going to do, Shiny? I don't know what kind of food that we're talking about. Maybe, maybe Neil might have an idea. We should head back to the restaurant. Yes, okay. Back into the restaurant, indeed. So yeah, I gotta start memorizing uh, all this stuff here. So, north is the mine, uh, east is the wall, or the sprite, and then right there is Doc's place. Can I go in all these buildings? I mean, I can, but I don't know about introductions. Oh no, I can... Hmm. Well, let's go to Neo. Let's not worry about exploring all this stuff right now. Our main thing to do is to keep advancing the story so we get past this intro tutorial kind of thing. Neil. Oh, hello there. This is being quite a hurry. There's something we hope you can help us with. We're looking for a dish local to this village. It's warm, been around forever, and delicious. Oh, hmm, I wonder. That could be turnip stew, a legendary dish from long ago that your father used to make. Oh, I remember that dish. Of all the dishes father used to make, that was one of my favorites. Shiny dog, is that what you're looking for? At the very least, it seems to meet verse description. We should take a bowl of it back to him. Right. Can you make us some turnips too? Of course. Or at least that's what I like to say, but I'm afraid I can't. Ever since your father disappeared, we've had to use a massively reduced menu. There were so many dishes that only he knew how to make. Turnip stew was one of those dishes. I really want to make it for our customers, but only he knew how to make it. Mom, we should try to make it ourselves. Neil. Shani has got me really fired up. I think if we really put our minds to it, we should be able to recreate Dad's legendary turnip stew. We've been running around, running this restaurant for years now. I'm sure we can work it out. Of course, Neil, you're right. I can't give up just because my husband isn't around. Shiny, Doc, we'll do our best to make turnip stew for you. Maybe you can help? Of course we will, just say what you need. Thank you, now then. As you can see, our kitchen broke this morning. It's old and weak. Doc, you, damn, that thing just went by quickly, the dialogue. After all, we can't make anything with a high-quality kitchen. Just leave it to me. Hmm, the whole thing looks old and broken, but the important parts are undamaged. So with a few materials, I think I can fix it right away. Shiny, I need you to get the materials, uh, wait, I need you to get the materials I need to fix this kitchen. Five lumber and ten stone should do it. Okay. You don't have an axe? Here, take this. Don't worry, I'm not using it. All right, let's do it. Five lumber and 10 stone. That'll be really easy. That sounds super simple. Hey, Shiny, what you doing with that ax? I see you need lumber. 
Got it. Just follow me. I'll teach you how to chop wood and stuff. It's a pretty old axe, but it should be good enough to chop down a tree like this one. The trees around here are usually softwood. Swing your axe toward the tree and you can cut down trees with just a few swings. Press the A button in front of the tree to get lumber. When a tree is cut down, it will return to its original location after a few days. Here we go. I got lumber. Five. Good job. Looks like you got some good lumber. Oh my god, I made the sound that it fell, but it actually froze in the background. But why are we collecting lumber in the first place? Oh, I gotcha. Neil is trying to recreate one of his dad's dishes. Are you helping him with that? Neil's dad wasn't the only one caught outside the village when the eruption hit, you know? My brother was out there too, and he's never returned. My brother knew so much about flowers and plants, he was the one who taught me how to chop trees. He always used to say that he was going to open a flower shop when he grew up. Maybe he settled down somewhere and finally opened up that shop. You know what's interesting? All these characters assume that their loved ones are still alive. Like, here's the thing, I know it's a Harvest Moon game, so the reality is that they all probably will still be alive. But if it was real life, and there was an eruption that happened outside, yet your village was protected, why would you assume that they're all alive? Yeah, you can hope that they're alive, but wouldn't you assume that they died because of the eruption? That was the whole purpose of the wall being built to protect your own village, which means everything on the outside got decimated, right? I don't know, that's just my logic, but okay. What? Once you're able to leave the village, you'll look for my brother? Oh wow, thanks. That'd be awesome. When you find him, tell him I'm doing well. Yeah, like, isn't that so odd? Like, again, I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be alive. It's a freaking rated E game, Harvest Moon. Not, we're not gonna be like, oh, everybody freaking died with by lava. They burned alive. No. But if it was real life, which if we're looking at it, like, diegetically, then all these characters should like, they should have made the character realistic and feel like, well, and a massive eruption happened beyond that wall, which means they died. You know, I don't know. I don't, like, what do you all think? Does that make sense, what I'm saying, or am I looking too much into this? Like, everyone just looks so overly optimistic, you know? Okay, so I definitely need a... what the hell is... oh, that's a statue. I was about to smash that statue. So like, it looks like I can just keep hitting these and without consuming stamina, right? Okay, what if you hold A? Oh, it doesn't work. Holding A only works for your feels. I'm just doing this so I can get a bunch of stone. That's good enough. Okay, let's go back. But yeah, I got my... let me let me take a look. Yep, lumber. I got exactly 10 lumber. I have a lot of stone now, though. Maybe I should cut down one more tree. Like, just in case. Is this a softwood? There we go. That should be good enough. I have 20 lumber now. So also, there's like a bunch of stars here. Uh, Langtonberry Village has like a less than half a star out of five. I assume the more you do for that village, the more stars it'll have, like you're making progress in that village, maybe? That's my assumption, at least. Welcome back. Do you have the materials? There you go. Yes, I do. You got everything I asked for? Okay, let's get fixing. Shiny, Neil, you can help too. You bet. Whew, you're almost there. I'll take care of the rest, you two. Thank you so much, Doc. You want a kitchen of your own? If you really want one, I'll build it for you. I got some materials left from this job, and it should be enough to make a simple kitchen for you. Pretty exciting, huh? 
Yeah, that sounds pretty cool, I guess. Have our own little kitchen. Wait one day and return to the restaurant. Well, I mean, I guess we're done. There's not really much else that we're gonna do for today, so that's about it. But yeah, see, time is time is not passing naturally, second by second. It's passing based on events and what you're doing. That makes me think that everything is still very scripted with like the tutorial part of the game. But I feel like eventually that will end once you finish all that. Alright, so as always, we have to begin by watering our crops. Oh, wait, here's a cutscene. Oh, they're ready. Shiny, look, to turn this stuff we planted earlier, ready to harvest. Now get cl getting closer and harvest them. Press the A button to harvest crops in your field. Again, you continuously hold down. Yeah, of course. If crops are left unharvested, they will eventually wither and die. Harvest your crops as soon as possible. Okay, so we're just going to hold the A button and harvest them all. Turnip, a white tender root vegetable. It can be used in a variety of dishes, including stews. We grew some good looking turnips. We put a lot of work into growing these veggies, so we should use them wisely. Oh yeah, you can put in these surplus crops you have in the shipping bin next to your house. Just put them in there, and the tool shop merchant will stop by the next morning to collect and buy them from you. If you ship lots of delicious crops, I think everyone in the village will be thrilled. Place items in the shipping bin, and they will be automatically shipped the next morning. Select the items you want to ship from your bag by pressing the A button in front of the shipping bin. To take an item from the shipping bin, select the item from the shipping bin and, and select return. Money will be placed in the shipping bin for your items. The next morning, go to the shipping bin and collect the money. I can't believe how many times the shipping bin word has appeared here. Shipping items through the shipping bin also helps the village develop, so use it regularly. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they use the term shipping bin seven times in five tutorials pages. All right, let's head over to Selena and Neil's place now. I can't wait to show you my perfectly repaired kitchen. I have to water the other crops first though, and obviously, you know, harvest them. There we go. Oh, what the heck? Wait, weeds? They're just randomly spawning, I guess? Hmm. I mean, I guess they are. Okay. All done with that. I haven't shipped anything yet. I'm not sure what I should be doing. Like, what if I need these turnips for something? Like, I don't want to get rid of them, you know? But I feel like I may have to. Oh, look at that. Looks nice and renovated. If only it was that easy to renovate a kitchen by just using 5 lumber and 10 stone. Well, it looks brand new. I can't even tell how run down it used to be. Shiny, dock, thank you. So what's next on the docket? Now that the kitchen's fixed, we need the ingredients for turnips too. You need turnips, milk, carrots, and pink roses. We should be able to get everything we need in the village. Wait a second, carrots? I don't know where to find those. Don't worry, I'm happy to share our supply of carrots. Don't worry, we have plenty to spare. Think of it as payment for fixing our kitchen. Shiny, can I ask you to gather up the rest of the materials? I think there's lots of pink roses grown by the southern waterfall. As for the turnips, you should have used the ones you harvested in the field, Shiny. If you've already eaten them, go see if you can find some place that sells turnips. Judy has cows, so you should ask her about the milk. Alright, see you later then. Alright. Oh, I haven't even like explored in here, you know, to see. Purchase. Just want to see what you have. Okay. So yeah, I have turnips. 
I have to get to the waterfall apparently and find the roses there. But yes, I do need to ask. Um, is that Judy? I mean, what are all these? What are all these buildings? No one's there. Okay. What's this one? This is Mathis. Bring you ready to keep some animals. Okay, so clearly I can't keep animals yet. That's okay, I'm sure that'll come very soon. Okay, let me go talk to you. Oh, shiny. What is it this time? Oh, we need some milk? Here, take this. This is fresh from this morning. Go on, take it. Consider it a thank you for getting our chicken back. Just let me know if you need anything else. I'm always there for a friend in need. Oh, thank you. I want these mushrooms that I see over here. Okay. I see more mushrooms this way. So I'm assuming the exclamation mark on the map is pointing us to the waterfall area with the roses. I just have to figure out how to get there though. That's closed off, that's sealed off, okay. So it must be from the other way. Oh my god. I wish there was an easy way to just go through. I have to go all the way around the whole thing. Jeez. Okay, where are these roses? Oh, there they are. I see them. Pretty simple. I mean, I'll definitely take them all. Pink rose, a lovely pink rose. It can be used in dishes as an edible flower. Okay, that's it. I don't believe there's anything else over there. I'm not gonna, you know, bother wasting time. Alright, and then Neil is going to be right over here in the same place as usual. Gotta make this turnip stew. Alright, I'm back. I got your stuff. Do you have all the ingredients? Yes, I do. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. This should be everything I need to make some delicious turnip stew. Just wait a minute, okay? I'm gonna try my try, try to make the best turnip stew I can. Hmm, I think it was smoother. Maybe I cut the carrots too big. I think I tasted more milk than this. Perhaps it needs more milk. Hmm, it's smelling good. Is that enough to balance with the turnips? And as a finishing touch, some flowers. Okay. It's done. Our village has legendary dish, turnip stew. Oh, it smells so good. I think it's pretty close to Dad's original recipe. Here, have a taste. Well, if you insist. What you making, Neil? I can smell that delicious cooking all the way from my house. Oh, turnip stew? That takes me back. I remember your dad making it. Would you like a taste, Judy and Mathis? I recreated my dad's legendary turnip stew. Really? Yay, we're famished. I love that word, it's so funny. Thank you, I never thought I'd see the day I could eat turnip stew in this restaurant again. Well, it looks like a business has picked up for you. Well, once again, time to dig in. Damn, you made a lot of turnip stew. <laughs> Look at the way Doc Jr. was eating and then fake grabbing the spoon like he's a ghost. Oh my god. For sure to love it, yeah. 
This is so good, so smooth, the vegetables are cooked to perfection. Okay, I can't read those. Those dialogue prompts when there's like a cutscene moving left to right, they move too fast. I'm glad you like it. Thanks everyone, you really boosted my confidence. I think I'm ready to try some new recipes. Indeed, it would be great to get to get the menu back to how it used to be. I'll make sure we can make it happen. Speaking of, you have a kitchen in your house too, don't you Shiny? We'll take these then. Oh, thank you. I hope you can cook something wonderful. Come on, let's take some tavur. Yes. That's the plan. Turnip stew. Neil has recruited the dish. That was once, uh, yeah, awesome. Burr's favorite. Okay, I'm up to 56 minutes now, so I actually have to see um, how to save the game. I know you can save by sleeping. There's an option that says save and sleep, but can you save the game? No, you can't. Well... I mean, it's grayed out, so I imagine that maybe you can if you're like in your house or something like that. Okay, so I tried to go into my house and trying to save there too, but it still wouldn't let me. It was grayed out, so that it's the game's not letting me save unless I sleep right now, which is very strange. Hey, Ver. Yes, what is it? We got a warm, delicious bowl at Lincoln and Dishmar Village. They should bring your mojo back. Looks delicious. This is for me. Thank you. Here I go, then. Oh yes, this is it. This is what I needed. This flavor takes me back. There's really nothing like it. Doc, shiny, thank you. Now I should be back to full strength. Time to remove this wall. Hee-yaw! Is he really gonna do it all? Oh, like a little segment? Okay. A hole opened up on the wall. Now we can leave the village. We didn't turn to ready. really took it out of me. Let's get some rest to head out tomorrow. Is that alright? Oh, right. I've also asked a Harvest Wits to help you on your journey. Hey, Harvest Wits, come out. Come out wherever you are. These little things are the Harvest Wisps. Each one is a small fragment of the hottest Harvest Goddess's power. Neat, huh? Where the heck did that thing come from? The Harvest Wisps have always been here. The Harvest Goddess just hid them from humans. I've asked a Harvest Wisps to help you, so any Harvest Wisps you find anywhere in the world should lend you a hand. Try talking to the Harvest Wisps, Shiny. You'll get something good. You can get seeds by approaching Harvest Wisps and pressing the A button. Depending on the season, more seeds may be given. Harvest Wisps will disappear when they give you their seeds, but they will reappear if you wait a few days. Some Harvest Wisps only appear at certain times of the day, and some even hide in trees, stones, or grass. Rare Harvest Wisps are Harvest Wisps that give more seeds than regular Harvest Wisps. Rare ones will be startled and run away if approached while running or on horseback. Approach later to avoid startling. I'm sorry, did you say horseback? Okay. Jesus, that's the whole game? That's humongous. Yep, just like that. Some of them are shy and hard to find, so be sure to keep an eye out for them. I got two turnips for that. Well, okay, it looks like it's finally time to end this. Oh, there, there's the kitchen. Shiny, there's something I've heard to tell you. I just finished installing the kitchen in your house. I was secretly working on it while you were gathering the ingredients. So from now on, try cooking your own food instead of just buying it at the store. In your kitchen, you can cook food to cook a dish, you'll need a recipe and its ingredients. Select the dish and ingredients to start cooking. Cooking time varies depending on the dish. This icon will be displayed when cooking or if there is a finished dish in the kitchen. Good ingredients can produce high quality food. Upgrading your kitchen increases the number of dishes you can cook at a time. The variety of dishes you make, you can make is small at first. Because you acquire recipes, your repertoire will grow. Recipes can be purchased or obtained by completing requests. Nice. Alright, well I'm going to save and sleep. And this file. Alright. So, before in this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye everyone. Have a great day.